Last Thursday, President of the Grenada Teachers Union, Marvin Andel, voiced his concerns over government's delay in renewing the contracts of some teachers who remained at home. A meeting was held between the Grenada Union of Teachers and officials from the Ministry of Education to address the issue which, according to Andel, caused setbacks in the operation of some schools. Andel told GBN the recent meeting with the employers was fruitful and they expect the issue will be rectified soon. Meeting, at that meeting, the union learned that a number of letters were being prepared to be sent out to teachers and that they should be receiving during this week and in the coming days letters of reappointments. What has happened originally was that a batch was uh, published and that created some discord because some persons were not seeing their date. And out of some degree of caution, the ministry is claiming that they would like to, they are in the process of preparing the letters and send them out so that it is not done in like it was originally planned to do batches, but appointments are being done and information will be received as to some of these appointments. Andel says they will also be meeting with teachers currently on the contract to work the way forward in getting them into a more permanent position. Minister for Education Emily Pear at Tuesday's post-cabinet briefing says her ministry has been doing their best towards finding solution to issues affecting teachers. She explains how contracts were issued to teachers. Thinking about um, teachers for reappointment, and let me probably just explain this because it's a little bit different to a regular person in the system and a renewal of a contract. So one way, for example, is a teacher who goes on maternity leave for three months. So you may find that a teacher coming to replace that person for a period of three months. Or you may find a case where a teacher retires and someone has to come in to fill that position. So you do have cases where a number of persons who have been serving for a specific period and that period has ended and then the ministry has to see is there another vacant position that that teacher can now fill. So we've had a number, hundreds of, of persons who would have had to take up short-term arrangements, um, persons going off to study and otherwise within the system. And we do have some cases of interviews where some of these persons might be interviewed to fill permanent positions. For GBN News, I am Rina Pear reporting.